We're out here at the Children's Healthcare of Atlanta, North Druid Hills campus. This is a brand new replacement hospital. With as much manpower as we've had on site, we're trying to reduce the overall uh, impact to the site logistics by uh, keeping a lot of the skilled labor off site. We have a lot of prefabricated components out here. We've got prefabricated bathroom pods. We've got prefabricated mechanical racks up on the tower floors. The building facade is comprised of unitized prefabricated curtain wall that's all prefabricated off site. This is a mega job. We're going to have anywhere from you know two to three thousand workers out here at a time, and you know all of the nuances and costs associated with parking those workers and bringing them on site and the trash and the toilets and the temporary facilities with them um, are all magnified. Down in here in our pre and post-op area, the team decided to prefabricate these headwalls ourselves in a facility off site. We probably have about 90 of these on this floor. You can imagine the manpower of skilled labor that the trades would have to have out here to get all 90 of these done. Prefabrication makes really good sense to be able to get a lot of the production work done off-site. There's all kinds of improvements in quality, uh, in ergonomics and safety. So when you start repeating patient floors or hotel floors, and you're doing the same skill over and over, but you have it on these fast-track jobs where everybody wants to go faster and finish earlier, there's some consistencies, and the trade partners are learning this just as fast as we are, that it's easier to pre-rack and pre-build a lot of items and just bring it to the site because you can control the environment it's being done in. So here you can see our prefabricated MEP utility racks. We're up in our patient floor. Um, these are created anywhere from 20 to 30 foot sections. The prefabricated racks have exceeded our expectations on this job. Um, they've just been wildly successful. So multi-trade racks, I think, are unique in that you're assembling most all of your overhead MEP systems off-site. And you're actually bringing those assembled components to the job and then hoisting them into place. And then once they go in and they're attached to your structure, a lot of the work that you would have been doing uh, out here on site with uh, several different trade partners is essentially accomplished. So our process actually starts with our mechanical partner. Uh, they took on the onus to engineer and design the rack frame or the skeleton, so to speak. Uh, once it's assembled, they ship it uh, here locally to our electrical joint venture, England and Stubbs Cleveland Electric, to their shop. Their shop's about 10 miles from the job site. And then that's where each of the trade partners come together and they actually outfit the rack with all of their system components. And then England and Stubbs packages it up and handles the shipping and logistics to get it from their plant here to the job site and ready to hoist and assemble. In the warehouse, they might have 20 guys working, but you can easily control and easily see how they're doing, what they're doing, and they can learn what they're doing. Usually they don't even have to wear a hard hat. They're working with their hands. They've got a, a parts list of all the parts they need. They sort the parts and then they build it, make it off the line and it goes to the next setup. I mean, they pre-pull wire to terminate electrical panels. We prefab as much of this stuff as we possibly can. This is what we've come up with so far and it makes it so smooth. You can load this onto the trailer in just a, a matter of minutes. Part of improving processes in construction are taking advantage of the current technologies that are out there. Implementing virtual design and construction and modeling and prefabrication is really just implementing great planning. I have to give a lot of credit to MMC contractors. They drove the process a ton on the virtual design and working with them and their experience, they knew how to quickly get us models back and forth and we could share and trade. I think uh, prefab and VDC's involvement in prefab is definitely gonna grow. Everything's gonna go so much smoother and quicker if everything's kind of vetted out and thought out early on. So when you can really make it efficient for what you're building when we have this repetition and then it's a win-win for everybody. You're saving on labor, you're saving on material, and you're saving on schedule because it's not taking you as long to put it in in the building. The, the long run, the construction schedule wins from that. 
I mean, I think overall, I, prefabrication is only gonna grow from here.